I first started stand-up about six years ago, kind of in the very beginning when guys started playing with it on Maui. Dave Kalama, Laird Hamilton, a couple other friends of mine started doing it at Hokipa. Then when I, I discovered the potential of, of stand-up for no wind days and for flat water, you know, fitness training, paddling, and especially when there's no wind. And then I went, wow, there's really something special here. You know, because if it's windy, I windsurf or I kite surf. I'm not going to stand up if it's windy. But for me, it, it gave me a new type of surfing that I would do waves this big or 10 meters, it doesn't matter. With a stand up, you can go as long as there's no wind. So the complement to windsurfing and kite surfing was perfect. And then when I discovered the flat water aspect, I really realized that the sport has huge potential to bring the whole world to surfing. You know, not in the waves, but in lakes and rivers, anybody can do it. If I have to take just one board on a trip, it depends what I'm doing. If, if I'm wave riding or if I'm going touring, flat water. But if I'm wave riding, for me, uh, probably an 8.5 Hokua. Maybe a 9 but between the 8.5 and 9 Hokua, I can use that one board in almost anything. Tiny waves, big waves. It's nice to, to have a choice, but if I have to have one board, it's probably an 8.5 Hokua. Surfing has become really popular. It's a, a very trendy sport at the moment, so waves are crowded everywhere. There's bodyboarders, there's surfers, there's stand-ups, you know, and we basically have to learn to share. The one good thing is stand-up is fun even in shitty waves. And surfing a shortboard is not. Like on a shortboard, you have to be at the peak. On a stand-up, you can have fun a little bit down, you know, and you can spread out and still enjoy yourselves. And the one thing I always tell the stand-up guys is, especially there's a lot of guys coming in stand-up to surfing that don't surf. They're new to surfing. Um, and they should learn etiquette, if you know what etiquette is. They should kind of learn the rules. You don't just paddle out to a peak. Paddle outside everybody, wait for the sets, and take all the good waves. The problem is a lot of stand-up guys do that because it's easy. And you need to respect surfers and you need to get into the rotation you need to let let some good waves go I mean I surf I windsurf I kite I stand up you can't be an asshole <laughs> and make people happy you know you need to have respect so that's my advice is let let people get waves share a little bit you know the second thing is you have to understand that surfing turns even really nice people into assholes sometimes and it's just somehow part of <laughs> part of the sport, you know? You have a really nice guy, he paddles out on a surfboard and he becomes a dickhead. Uh, and stand-up can be the same. So everyone needs to relax a little bit, you know? If you want to start, just go. You don't need a lesson, you don't need a school, you just need to go. It's easy. And it's really fun. From, from the first minute, it's fun. And it gets better.